Let's get on over to meteorologist Andrew Humphrey right now to track exactly where the storm is. That's right, and uh, Dorian is still making its way. It's buzzsawing its way through still eastern North Carolina, southeast Virginia, heavy rain also affecting southeastern Maryland. Now, it made landfall, as Everard mentioned earlier this morning, at 835 in Cape Hatteras, right here. That's where the center of the storm goes over land. It just nicks Cape Hatteras, but just enough to the west where it actually did make landfall. And as Everard said, for the first time here in North America, because it's still traveling to the northeast at around 14, 15 miles per hour, with winds of still 90 miles per hour, Per hour. Actually, it's moving faster than what it was earlier this morning, now moving at 17 miles per hour. At that rate, it'll be over the open waters of the Atlantic, but still large enough to produce at least higher winds and some rainfall up and down the east coast from the mid-Atlantic into the northeast as we go through the day today. Still a category one storm, even by tomorrow morning when you join me on Local 4 News today, Saturday morning. Then it makes its second landfall here in Nova Scotia and on the eastern side of Canada. Now around here, totally different weather. Much calmer, cloudy, and we have some widely scattered showers. They've already entered the area, unrelated to Dorian, but they will be around this afternoon. We're still going to make it to 70 degrees or a bit more.